Hey everybody, how's it going boys? Scholarship We here, and welcome back for more Let's Play Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Uh, last time we did some cleanup, and we sort of ended on a cliffhanger, because uh, I didn't really know which level I wanted to attempt, but I did some practicing, I actually played through all these levels again, just for a quick refresher, because this is probably my least played through Spyro game. But, I have decided to do Lost Fleet. Um, <clears throat> I never was a big fan of this level as a kid. And it's not because it's a bad level, it's actually pretty cool, like the theme and everything. It's just, it has some things about it that made it kind of a pain in the butt. But let's talk to this dude. Be careful around these parts, little dragon. There'll be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake me pick at. Darn shame, too, because I was mighty close to finding me treasure. Oh my goodness, well, we gotta help this dude out. But yeah, it's sort of a uh, ship graveyard kind of theme, only it's not underwater so the water's gone and instead we have this nasty slime poison water here which unfortunately we can swim through with a uh, little help from a power-up portal thing and that's sort of what made me hate this level as a kid because there's quite the channel of underground or underwater rivers here full of gems and I don't know, at the time I guess I always struggled with it as a kid and I never liked it at all. So, but I did some practicing, I, I figured it out, it's not too terrible. Um, you just gotta be thorough and now that we have that ability of sparks to point towards treasure, we will probably have to make use of that, but that's cool. Um, that's fine with me. Oh shoot, kill this guy. Double gems from him, alright. And we get cannons back in the game, I don't remember. <clears throat> what the uh, last place I used one of these was, but it was a while ago. So I'm just gonna stay out here and snipe all the birds and stuff, cause might as well get them all in one go here. Uh, it's not, they're not too tough. There we go. Um, also, you're gonna want to shoot this X. X marks the spot, and I know this is pretty random, but we're gonna want to shoot in here, cause. There we go, there's a treasure chest. Now we can snipe a crab if we feel like it too, but not necessary. Okay, so let's clean up this treasure here and let's get going. <clears throat> but today, I kind of wanted to talk about my uh, some of the thoughts I've been having about phones and uh, mobile operating systems and stuff like that because I've really decided that I want to get myself an iPhone for my next uh, phone. Um, Initially, I could not stand iOS. It was bland, it was boring, but now I actually really like it. Um, iOS 7 sort of changed everything. It made everything nice and colorful, and I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, it, a lot of people love to bash it, and there's nothing wrong with Android or whatever else you use. Windows, uh, Windows Phone OS even looks pretty cool, but um, I don't know, I have a lot of money invested in iTunes and music, movies, stuff, and I don't see, I don't know, it just seems like the right thing to use for a phone because I have an iPod Touch, actually a pimped out one, I have the 64 gigabyte iPod Touch um, because I do have a lot of music and uh, I have that and then I just got an iPad Air this this uh, past winter and I don't know, I sort of just really have come to like iOS and uh, the way it works and I don't know, I just really like it. Um, <clears throat> I always bring my iPod with me when I go driving somewhere because my phone, I don't know, it's just a pain in the butt for me to get music on there and I'm not going to buy music or on uh, like Google Play or anything because that's just a waste of money because I'd never use it. Um, and I don't know, I'd, I'd like to have a phone where not only uses the same operating system as my other two mobile devices but it also could sync music easily with them and photos. and all that sort of stuff. So, I sort of decided that, and then it sort of got painful because I was like, dang, do I want to wait? I mean, because I really wanted to get an iPhone 5S, but it's like, dang, you know, that we all know that an iPhone 6 is probably going to come out <clears throat> pretty soon here, I imagine. Uh, probably guessing in September. I think there's an Apple event in June, or yeah, I think it was June pretty early. I don't remember the dates exactly, but it was pretty early in June. I was like, well, they're probably going to announce their next phone there and then it'll probably come out in September or October and so I might as well just wait it out um, plus there's rumors which I don't know if this is actually going to be the case but there's rumors about potentially a bigger screen which I'd be cool with because um, right now if I got an iPhone 5s it'd basically be my iPod 
exact same screen, just with the fingerprint scanner and a little bit fatter. So that doesn't seem like a reasonable thing to do. So I'm gonna wait it out. Would you look at that? Some fool hit a dang gum egg in me treasure. Oh my goodness. Well, let's get it. Craig! I know lots of people named Craig, um, but I'm not gonna list them because that's weird. Anyway, let's see. And there's the, the entrance to the underwater river channel thing. Um, underwater river, that, that's sort of a stupid way to put it. You know what I mean. Underwater, whatever, slime tunnels of crap. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I can't I can't form words right now. I am really tired. It's, it's actually been a pretty busy Memorial Day weekend. Um, I worked Thursday, didn't work Friday, worked Saturday, Sunday, and yesterday, which was Memorial Day, all like nine hour shifts and it was hot and I'm worn out um and I work again today at four which won't be as bad because six hours is <clears throat> on a weekday it won't be nearly as bad as Memorial Day weekend but still I'm tired um I need to have a day off and rest a little bit but that's okay that's why we're recording because this is fun um so yeah I decided to wait it out because right now I have a Samsung Galaxy S4 which um I've come to appreciate a lot more recently once I figured out stuff because for a while the battery life was just ridiculous. Like, it was horrible. And I was like, what the heck is wrong with this? And it sort of made me want to get an iPhone even more. But I, eventually I figured out that my uh, email was constantly syncing, checking for my student email. I, I have two emails that I use. I have my student one and I have my one that I use for everything else. And uh, it was constantly like every second of the day checking for updates or checking for emails so that was just destroying my battery I was like what the heck so I got that changed and now the phone actually lasts all day even with a decent amount of use so that <coughs> I've definitely come to appreciate a lot more now um, let's see so we got all the birds now we have to do a couple different glides the first one we're gonna go into this cave up here where we uh, shot that random cannonball sort of a leap of faith but Got that, and I'm not sure if any treasure drops down here at all. No. Okay. Well, then we can get back up here and start cleaning up this area. And then we'll eventually get to the under the slime river thing and get that. But let's uh, kill some stuff up here. Nothing? No. And that's your shortcut getting back to there. So I do like how in this game a lot of the uh, areas, once you finish them, they sort of give you a shortcut back to the end so you don't have to run through the level 15 times you're trying to clean it up and stuff. That was definitely a, uh, a good thing. Um, I don't think you saw that much in Spyro 2, but the levels were a lot more spread out there, I feel. They weren't, uh, the levels here, they're smaller, but they just have, like, those black gateways to different areas, so Spyro 2, everything was all in one encompassing with all of the random orb challenges and stuff, but that's okay. Let's see, so, I think we have this whole area cleared up, that's just a crab thing, crawdad, whatever. Um, okay, so, we got all this, and I guess we'll go back here and clean it up, even though there is a, uh, <coughs> a black gateway to another area, which we'll be doing at the end. Um, let's see, we got this and this. These crabs, uh, oh yeah, they were in Spyro 2, I remember them, they were in the, uh, well, the, the underwater level, Aquaria Towers or whatever. That's right, totally forgot about these guys. Kind of weird here. A random shipyard full of crap, whatever. Um, let's go on over here. Alright. And we want to get up there. So, in order to do that, I think we're going to go up here. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I've heard that they're going to be increasing the screen size of the iPhone 6, hopefully. Um, I've heard a 4.7 inch, I believe, and maybe later a 5 point something. Um, right now my Galaxy S5, I believe it's just a, or S4, excuse me, I don't need to upgrade that much. Um, <clears throat> S4, I think it's just a straight up 5 inch screen, which is good. Um, I, I like it, I'm comfortable with that size. So a 4.7 would just about do that, and I'd be okay with that, so I'm probably going to go for that. Um, here's the other secret area, but we want to get that treasure just so we don't miss that. Um, and now I think we are ready to do the Slime River challenge. <laughs> kind of like the Cold Water challenge only. Now it's the Slime River challenge. Um, there's a lot of treasure under there, and I'm not sure if there's an egg as well, but 
Um, let's just get started. This is going to take a couple attempts at least, or a couple of uh, runs through here just to pick up all the treasure. I know when I was doing this the other day, I remember I was getting annoyed because Sparks like missed a gem that we went right over, and I was like, dang it, Sparks, what are you doing? Um, oh yeah, there's the egg. Right, we can get this. Chad. Like, one of my teachers that I had in high school, whatever. Anyway, let's go up here. And I guess this maybe is the, the the intended way for you to get in this cave there, but I don't know. I've never done that. <laughs> I always avoided the river as much as I could as a kid. So, um, yeah. iPhone 6. Gosh, I get off topic. My bad. Um, so I'm just going to wait patiently for that. I, I really want one because, like I said, I want to be able to have all my stuff on one. Have all my music from iTunes and on a phone or at least the music that I listen to when I'm driving, so I don't have to haul two devices with, I know, first world problems, but still, it'd be really nice. Um, let's see, and right here, oh dang, it sucked. Okay, and we were here already. Dang it. There's gotta be another way to go. Oh man, not a big fan of this. Let's see, so this is the skateboard area. Oh, well, it spoiled that. <laughs> Whoops, yeah, it's, a, it's another skateboard level. Um, I don't think there are any in the last world, as far as I can remember. But like I said, this is the, the spiral game that I played the least, so I'm not sure about that. Um, but anyway, let's go in here. And, oh, duh. I know what to do. I'm stupid. Let's come out here. And let's get some of this. I know there's a way to get here, but... Um, I'm not very good at finding my way through here because it's just green caves of crap. Got this. Um, still more treasure to be had, according to Sparks. Let's see. That way. Okay. It's probably still in the, the river, but... Okay, out here. Alright. And this area does connect, so that's interesting. Alright, <clears throat> I don't think I'll ever have this river down, even no matter how many times I've played through this. I always get confused and lost in here. It's kind of sad, but that's alright. Alright, so we're just going to make a huge run for it like this. Alright, here we go. I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it, but this is the way that we're going to do it. And we'll just cut through here, just so we can get it. I'm sure it does connect somewhere, but I just missed the, the path. Okay, so we got this. Oh yeah, right here. All right, and we got all the treasure because Sparks is not uh, doing anything. As you can see, he just doesn't point anywhere. So now we can go into our two different little split areas. Um, let's do the skateboard one first um, because why not? <laughs> um, the other one's a little bit more annoying. Well, actually, no, they're, neither of them are too bad. What's really bad is Frozen Altars, and we'll be doing that in the next episode. Um, that one has <laughs> two chan- well, one challenge in particular that I just suck at. I, I don't know. You'll see when we get there, though. But anyway, this one is a skateboard one. This one's pretty fun. Um, I remember sucking at this as a kid as well, which also probably made me not like this level. Let's just mess with these skateboarders wearing Hawaiian shirts for whatever reason. Alright. Spyro, you're just in time. A Rhinox skateboard gang has challenged us to a race. Yeah. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. <laughs> I stuck up for you, though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. <laughs> Thanks. So, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. <laughs> That's the currency in Spiral Land. Right on! You can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the square button. Good luck! <laughs> Gosh, I bet you an egg that... <laughs> That's funny. And Crushing Crabs also gives you uh, speed, but this isn't too bad. Um, let's see here, I just gotta get in the zone a little bit. Oh, crap. Yep. Um, I got this. Just gotta focus. Here we go. And then we're just gonna do this. Get some more speed. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I have never done that before. 
There we go. There we go, and let's do a couple backflips and some spins. Yeah, not too bad. What place am I in? I'm in fourth, okay. <laughs> Gosh. That's cool. Triple backflip, that's what I'm talking about. Hit that. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I'm not talking much, I just gotta focus on this race here. I'd rather not have to repeat it a couple times. Yeah, let's get some free treasure. Um, we will have to pick up a little bit of treasure when we're done here, because I don't think I'll be able to get it all. That's okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, and try to do variety for your tricks here if you're doing this. Um, the game likes that, usually. It gives you a little bit more boost for your bunk, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, we beat him. Piece of cake. Yes! You schooled him like a bunch of dizzy one-toed sand norks. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess we won this egg, too. Ooh, that's good. So I didn't do it just to school them. Oliver, like, actually, I don't know anyone named Oliver. <laughs> now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course and still beat me in a race. Oh. Want to give it a shot? Oh, I do. You're on, pal. All right. Eat my skate dust, sucker. <laughs> hey, hey, Hunter, aren't we on, like, the same team here? Aren't we both trying to get eggs? Uh... But yeah, this isn't bad either. Just smash the crabs and do tricks and beat Hunter. It's not terrible. It might seem terrible, but it's not. Just gotta do this. And I'm not sure if you can shoot him as well. Oh yeah, you can. Wow, you can mess with Hunter. That's funny. But we're just gonna fly through here. And just make sure you don't miss the crabs once you blaze past Hunter, because he kind of sucks. Not bad, just make sure... Okay, wow, we are like full on boost. Sick. Full on, all the way, double rainbow across the sky. And there might be a crab... Nope. Crap. Um, two more. Not sure if that counted if I hit that one or not, but let's go here to the left as much as I don't want to, but there is a crab, I know. Get him. Okay. So I think it's just that one that we missed. <clears throat> I have no idea where Hunter is, but I don't really care, because he is slow as heck. Um, let's do this. Oh, crap. There he is. Alright. Just gotta get him. We are all set. And now we can just finish this off with some sick, nasty moves. Triple spins. Oh yeah, look at that boost. Holy cow. Destroyed that. Sheesh, I can't believe you beat <laughs> me. You must have been practicing the whole time I thought you were looking for Oh, eggs. definitely. Hey, speaking of which, one of those crabs was guarding this one. <laughs> Would you look at that. Eden! I, I got nothing on that one either. Alright, so now let's just hop on here. This appears for us. Now we can do some sick, nasty tricks. Um, I think we, yeah, you can still kill the crabs, too. But we're just going to pick up treasure. Because that's all we care about at this point. Um, Not sure if I missed any up on this ledge. Nope, got that. Oh, crap. <laughs> up here. I might have. I don't know if there... Nope, no treasure up here, either. Hey, there's treasure. And you can go backwards, too. Let's see. Just make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, we're good. Alright. Oh! Nope. Stop it. Oh! Well, that wasn't a good idea. Alright, we'll have to make another lap for that one. Oh, and that gem there. Let's see if I missed anything down here. Probably did. Yep. Holy cow, plenty of treasure to go around. Oh, and on this side, too. Let's see if I can make a big circle here. <clears throat> there we go. 
All right, then we just have a little bit more. I don't think there's any up here. Hey, there's a thing there. I don't know if that's a skill point, so I won't worry about it, because I, I have plenty of lives right now. We're uh, doing just fine on lives. Let's see. Uh, oh, 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 my goodness. There we go. Um, let's just do this. Whoa, what the heck? All right, got that. Oh, and this one. Sparks pointing anywhere? I think we're good. Let's just do that. No, whoa, holy cow, that was awesome. Um, let's just jump up here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you can't... I just wanna... <laughs> I just wanna freaking leave. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on! Ugh. No! This is stupid. <laughs> I wanna get off my skateboard. How do I bail? There should be a bail button. Oh, crap. Here we go! No, no, no! Come on! This sucks. Yes! Okay. Now, here's how we're going to check if there's any more treasure in that area. Oh, boy. I'm not touching that skateboard panel. Let's see if the Rhinox are back. Nope. Okay, we're good. Sparks is not pointing anywhere. Now, we can go to the last area and hopefully leave. Gosh. Maybe that's why I hated this level as a kid. I don't know. Could be def could definitely could be a contributing factor. Um... Can't get in that way. Shoot. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna circle back over. <sighs> yeah. So in other news, um, <laughs> I sort of ran out of things to talk about with Apple or whatever. Just that I I like iOS now. But um, in other news, the other day I went to my favorite game store, um, which I hadn't been to in a, quite a long time. I just haven't had time to worry about trying to hunt down any games. But I went to my store and. Uh, it's kind of weird how this all played out, but I basically I, I went in and I asked if they had any strategy guides, and they said no, they didn't have any out. But then I found some stuff. I found a cheap copy of Final Fantasy IX because I like that game, as well as um, and eh, we'll do this later. Let me talk to this guy. These here waters used to be my favorite diving spot, uh, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? Yeah, scrap. Alrighty then. I'll press the X button to speed on up. And when you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with fire the circle away, button. Fire away. Okay. <clears throat> Let's kill some subs. But anyway, I, I had, uh, yeah, this can be actually kind of annoying. Um,. It's not bad the first time, but after we kill these guys, they're going to be coming back again, and then these guys will start firing at you. And like three times in a row when I was doing this level, I, uh, I got down to the last sub, and I crashed, and then you had to start all over. And, oh man, that, that, that was painful. But yeah, it's not too bad. Just follow them and shoot them. Like that. It makes that noise kind of similar to the sound when uh, Nasty Nork would use his, like, staff thing in the original Spyro. It's kind of cool. At least I recognize the sound from that. Maybe that's just me. Um, but anyway, uh, I went to my favorite game store and I found a, a cheap copy of Final Fantasy IX, which I wanted because I was like, yeah, I could use a uh, another copy of that, bring it, to school, bring it to college next year, and I could leave my good one here. Um, and then... I also found a copy of Mega Man X6, which is what I was looking for, so I bought those two things for, I don't remember. But, um, <clears throat> then after I checked out, she's like, hey, can you hang on one sec? I was like, oh, yeah, sure. And, uh, she went and talked to one of the managers or bosses at the store, whatever, and, uh, I saw her ask him thing, and he said, yeah, that's fine. And she came back, she's like, here, why don't you come back with me? And I was like, okay. So, she took me to the back room, where they keep their extra stuff in Holy crap, the back room was better than the front room. Like, the, they, they have an amazing stock at the store, but holy smokes. They had so much stuff back there, so many boxed things. And I was just like, dang, where'd you get all this? And 
<clears throat> it was just insane, all the crap they had back there. So I, uh, I spent pretty much another, like, 50 bucks there, because I found so much cool stuff. Well, I'll be darned. You got some mean sub grabbing skills. Why don't you have this here egg as a reward? All right. And we got ethyl. Ethyl? Ethanol? I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I hate to ask your help again, but there be even more subs that darn come out of nowheres. If you could blast them, I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. <laughs> acid lake as my swimming hole? Darn tootin'. Get on, little dragon. They call him Crazy Ed for a reason, I think. But anyway, and I spent more than I spent on those first two games just on uh, cool things I saw back there, and I was amazed, but... um. I saw a basically mint, like mint, um, complete in box Final Fantasy 3, also known as Final Fantasy 6, but Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo. And that's like the one box that I've just been really trying to get. I've lost so many eBay auctions on empty boxes, and they were a lot of money, and those weren't nearly in the condition of this one. And I was like, dang, um, would you sell me this box and manual by itself? And she's like, I don't know, let's ask. I was like, yes. Finally, because just about every other store you go to, they say, no, we only sell it together. And, and that always bugged me, because I'm like, okay, I have the game. I'm not going to spend, like, a hundred bucks for a game with its box when the game is, like, thirty bucks in the box. Is, well, the box can go anywhere from... On eBay, it's ridiculous. I remember I got outbid on this one. Like, I would go up to, like, thirty-something or forty and it sold for, like, sixty-eight bucks. I was like, screw that. I'm not spending that much for cardboard. I mean, I really like hunting down empty boxes, but dang, some of those prices are ridiculous. And, uh, <clears throat> but they sold me the, uh, they actually sold me the box and manual by itself for 40 which might sound like a rip-off to a lot of people, but, uh, that was actually a really good deal. They were giving me a great deal on that. Um, like, seriously, that's really good for the condition it's in and... The fact that they just sold it to me by itself, in general, just blew me away. I was like, finally, someone understands that not everyone wants two copies of a game and doesn't want to overspend. And they also had a, a complete in box Secret of Mana in there as well, which um, I don't like that game nearly as much as Final Fantasy stuff, so I'd, I'd prefer the Final Fantasy. But still, I was like, holy crap. At last. All right. Oh, whoops. Totally skipped his dialogue. Dolores, like Dolores Umbridge. Ugh, gross. Anyway, now that we have that cleared, let's get our shield on and let's uh, go clean up all the treasure that we created and spilled everywhere. But, uh, they sold that to me for 40 bucks and I was so fired up. And I found a few other things. I found the uh, Super Metroid official Nintendo Power Strategy Guide, which I was really, really fired up to find. And I also found a somewhat damaged, but not awful condition, especially once you get a box protector, uh, empty Super Smash Bros. box for the N64. Crap, what am I doing? <laughs> Gosh. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk and play at the same time sometimes. Actually, a lot of the time. But anyway, um, I found a complete, alright, not complete, but an empty Super Smash Bros. box for the N64, which goes for ridiculous amounts of money on eBay, because that's a good game, and that game itself sells for quite a bit of money now. I mean, a lot of places ask 40 or 50 bucks for it, which is painful, because I remember buying it for like 20 bucks used at a, at a local store, and yeah, that was sort of the standard for any good Nintendo, Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda game, but nowadays it's, no, 50 bucks, whatever. Um, but they gave me the box for two bucks, which... Although it had like a crush on the side, it was sort of crushed on the side, I was like, I don't care, I'll... It doesn't have to be in mint condition for me, I, and I put it in a box protector and it looks just fine, as long as you don't like, I don't know, the side's a little bit crushed, like I said, but it looks just fine in there, and I was like, dang, I'll take that for two bucks, because, like I said, most people on eBay ask like 40 or 50 bucks for that box alone. Plus the game's like 40 so you see places selling it complete for like $90, it's like, screw that. Um, it's a great game, but I don't want to spend 90 bucks on it. Alright, and that's all the treasure here. So I got that. Um, I also grabbed like a Mario Party 7 big box, 
I think it was seven, six, whichever one had the microphone, I don't remember. Um, the one on the GameCube. And I got that, that Super Metroid guidebook, the uh, Super Smash Bros. box, and that Final Fantasy box and manual, which were mint, like totally mint. And they had the map and everything, it was really good. For a uh, total of 50 bucks, which honestly, that was a great deal. Um, might not sound like it to people who don't like collect anything, but it was really, really good. I was so excited. I was like, yes! Finally, someone took a game out of the box and sold me the box, because people usually refuse to do that. But anyway, guys, that's all we're going to have time for today. We're already at like 30 minutes. Holy cow, that's a long level. Um, but next, we're going to be doing Honey Speedway, as well as Frozen Altar. Um, it might seem kind of odd, um, but I have my reasons. After practicing, I realized something, and I want to be able to complete as much as I can. Um, I, I don't remember. There's something that happens after you finish two levels here, and I'm not sure how long it takes effect, but I want to get the speedway out of the way. You'll see next time. I'll explain it. And, uh, yeah, so I guess that's all we're going to do. So, as always, this has been Boy Scholarship. We thank you all for watching, and until next time, guys, keep gaming. Peace out, and we'll see you later. Take care now.